you just start off with with a, a little bit of your own background and, and your role in, in the film? Yeah, you know, I'm I'm a not a filmmaker. I I primarily I'm a, a soccer junkie, like a lot of other people out there. Um, and I met Jay back when he was in college. He was just another guy, um, you know, another guy who I knew and kind of hung out with. I didn't go to his college, but I had a good mutual friend who. Did. And, um, you know, after college, Jay was like a lot of other athletes where he played D1, but he didn't get drafted and he didn't have that big, you know, invitation to, to come try out. So um, he went and tried his luck in another country and, and actually another continent, that being Europe. And he went over there and started out with not much. Um, and I'm sure most people have heard the story by now. Um so I won't get too into it, but I, my role in getting in, involved in this was, you know, I lost touch with Jay, but when he kind of popped up after he had, had come out of the wilderness, so to speak, and scored that goal, pushed Watford into the Premier League, I started following him, and, and you know, I said, wow, I remember that, that's Jay, that's crazy, and I didn't know his whole story, but um, I, I started looking into it more, especially when he got the call up to the national team and started getting that real attention. Um, so about two months before the World Cup, I approached a friend who, who I'd met Jay through in Morocco, um, who played college soccer with Jay, and just told him, look, your story is obviously, a, you know, a great, great, unique story, and this is a time that it, it needs to be told. It really needs to be documented. Um, and there'd been talk of, you know, people doing a feature and things like that, but ultimately for us, we wanted to get the real deal and, you know, get to, to talk to the people who live the story with Jay and to get to experience the World Cup and the buildup for him to come from where he had uh, was so unique. And, you know, for him to go to, for any player to go to World Cup is obviously special, but I think for Jay it was even more special. So we told him, look, this is a really uh, amazing opportunity, and it's a very actually small window. So we'd like to do it, and, and Jay obliged. Um, we didn't really know what we were doing, but we knew we, we know that the story needed to be told. And uh, we went about doing it by finding a director, um, a, you know, professional director who directed soccer, and actually in England he directed um, commercials and interview players and all that good stuff, but about a week before the project was going to start, he actually pulled out because he had some family issues, so at that point, we were stuck with, well, what do we do? You know, do we go forward or do we let this thing die? And we simply didn't know, but um, we figured we'd give it a try, and that's what the, you know, what some say is that that's the rest of the story. And we, two years later, here we are getting ready to uh, have the film be shown in theaters. Can you talk a little bit about the the theme of the movie and just kind of the big picture behind it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it is a soccer story, but it's so much more than that. You know, I guess it's, it's I don't want to say it's a cliche, but, you know, it really is a, a, a true underdog overcoming obstacles story. Um, and it's really one that people, I think, dream of. Like, people in Hollywood sit around to write stories like this, and for Jay, it actually happened, and to be able to document this is awesome because we're getting so much great feedback from other people, from coaches, from players saying, you know, I saw this or I can't wait to see it because it's going to inspire me or my team. Um, it really is that message of, you know, hope and perseverance and not giving up and not taking no for an answer. Can you talk a little bit about the role MLS played in promoting the film? I think there's been a real effort on, on their part to uh, help people find out about the, the film. Yeah, I mean, it was funny because we were, when we started, we were in the wilderness. We didn't know if, if anyone would ever watch what we made. I mean, we knew it was a good story, but we didn't know if we would even do it justice, so to speak. But once it, once it came out and people got to see snippets of it, whether it be a trailer or read, you know, read articles, um, we got a lot of interest. And I think the MLS recognized just how powerful a story it, it was and the effect it was having on people. And they became um, really involved and they've, you know, helped us in many ways. Um, one awesome way is, is playing the trailer 
on the big screen at the games. So at, at the halftime of you know of your your uh, MLS game, you get to see this trailer, and it's it's been awesome. It's raised awareness, and um, they've really helped out in, in a lot of other ways. I think the MLS is doing an incredible job in their social networking. I'm, I'm just blown away by how fast it's growing, and I think a big part of that is the, the fact that fans are really engaged, and they've used that to help promote it as well and get the word out about the story and how others can help. What about uh, the concept of the American dream? Well, I told Jay he should run for president because uh, all the girls want their daughters to marry him and all the guys want to have a beer with him. <laughs> I don't know if that answers your question, but he's just he's a really good, humble guy. And it's funny, you know, he he'll, he's the first to admit it. He's not a very technical soccer player, so to speak. I mean, obviously, to play at his level, um, he's got, you know, quote-unquote skills. But he's not the guy who's going to go and juggle 50, you know, 100 times and do these crazy tricks in the games. But it, he's gotten to where he, he has based on simple hard work and, and belief. And, I mean, that, I think, is the American dream in itself. For him to go to England of all places where, you know, there there is a stigma um, if you're an American, maybe a bit less now. But when he was there, you know, he, he actually would show up at these Sunday pub games and they'd tell him to sit on the bench. Um, and for him to just keep going and going and overcoming these obstacles, especially in a place like that, it really embodies, I think, the American, you know, principles of, of hope and, you know, endurance and, and self-belief. And um, it's an awesome story. It's, it's really something that I think those outside the soccer world are, are going to appreciate and actually have because we've gotten awesome response from people who have even said, hey, I don't really like sports. I don't watch sports, but I really related to this movie. Um, something else that Jay had going for him was a really nice family structure where his family were actually all athletes. His dad was a three sport athlete in college. His mom was a gym teacher and a track coach. And, and he had this, this great family support system, which um, is, is obviously something that's important in life, no matter what, you know, what it is you're doing, what sport you're playing or, or job you're doing to have this support system. And Jay had that and people really seemed to enjoy that aspect of the film. And, um, the fact that I think we were, you know, lucky to capture it in a great way where you really get to feel like you're part of Jay's family and you know um, his roots and where he came from. So what, what do you think makes Jay the, the person and the, the player that he is? Well, um, a few things. I think the first is, like his dad says, it, kind of the beginning of the movie, he just doesn't like to lose. And, and that's, you know, I think you find that in most successful athletes and these are people who who achieve great things, whatever sport it is. But if you're playing them in ping pong, they get pissed off if they lose. You know, these are there's just that mentality that really, really they want to win and and do their best. And I think that for Jay, that was one. I think another is being fearless because he really went from playing in front of you know ten people, no joke, playing in front of ten people on a on a Sunday pub league game. Um, or even these low-level professional, you know, England games where they might be making 50 or 100 pounds and quote-unquote being semi-pros, but they don't have a big audience or anything like that. And he went from that to a year or two later playing against the best guys in the world, literally guarding Cristiano Ronaldo at Old Trafford. And, and for him to do that and not let him phase it, you know, not let it phase him is, is something that I think is a really strong um, characteristic that he has, which is, really to, to be fearless and not um, not back down, to, to, you know, use those things as something where you can actually um, get, get better. Is there one thing that you want people to leave the film with? The film starts out with a quote, um, the poorest man on earth is not one without a scent, it is one without a dream. And I think that quote means so much to not only Jay's story, but to the film, because the, the way the film came about, it, it kind of embodies Jay's story a bit. I mean, you know, we weren't filmmakers, and we didn't really know what we were doing, but we knew we wanted to tell a story. And, and kind of like Jay, a lot of people probably would have said, no, you can't do that, or, you know, you can't, you're not going to do that, or even said, you're crazy. You can't make a film, you know, that's going to be on, on a big screen. But um, it's the same way as Jay's story. We didn't give up, and we knew what we wanted to do. And, and it worked. And um, 
I hope people take that message when they watch Jay's incredible story and they see it on the big screen and they found out how it came about, that you really, that there are limitless possibilities and don't be scared to dream because these things are completely possible. It just takes uh, hard work and not giving up and, and really, you know, keeping going and going until you find that right path to get there.